Divrai Hayam Im Rishon, 1 Chronicles 5. Now, the sons of Reuven, the firstborn of Yashadael, for he was the firstborn, but for as much as he defiled his father's bed, his birthright was given unto the sons of Yosef, the son of Yashadael, and the genealogy is not to be reckoned after the birthright. For Yahuda prevailed above his brethren, and of him came the chief ruler, but the birthright was Yosef's. The sons, I say, of Reuven, the firstborn of Yashadael, were Hanak and Palu, Chetzran and Karmi. The sons of Yoel, Shemayahu, his son, Gog, his son, Shem'i, his son, Mika, his son, Re'ayah, his son, Ba'al, his son, rather, Ba'al, his son, Be'era, his son, whom Tiglath, Pileser, king of Ashur, carried away captive. He was prince of the Reuvenim, and his brethren by their families, when the genealogy of their generations was reckoned, were the chief, Ye'il-El and Zakariahu, and Bila, the son of Ezaz, the son of Shima, the son of Yoel, who dwelt in Ar-Er, even unto Nevu and Baal-Me'an. And eastward he inhabited unto the entering in of the wilderness from the river Parath, because their cattle were multiplied in the land of Gilad. And in the days of Shaul they made war with the Hagrim, who fell by their hand, and they dwelt in their tents throughout all the east land of Gilad. And the children of Gad dwelt over against them in the land of Bashan unto Kal'ah. Yoel the chief, and Shapham the next, and Ya'anai and Shaphat in Bashan. And their brethren of the house of their fathers were Mikael and Meshalam, and Shiva and Yorai and Yakan and Zia and Chever seven. These are the children of Avihail, the son of Chori, the son of Yorach, the son of Gilad, the son of Mikael, the son of Yashi Yashai, the son of Yachto, the son of Buz. Achi, the son of Avidiel, the son of Guni, chief of the house of their fathers, and they dwelt in Galad, in Bashan, and in her towns, and in all the suburbs of Sharon, upon their borders. All these were reckoned by genealogies in the days of Yotham, king of Yahuda, and in the days of Yarav Am, king of Yashareel, the sons of Reuven and the Gadim, and half the tribe of Manasseh, of valiant men, men able to bear buckler and sword, and to shoot with bow, and skillful in war, were four and forty thousand, seven hundred and threescore, that went out to the war. And they made war with the Hagrim, with Yatur, and Nafish, and Nodav, and they were helped against them, and the Hagrim were delivered into their hand, and all that were with them, for they cried to Elohim in the battle, and he was entreated of them, because they put their trust in him. And they took away their cattle, of their camels, fifty thousand, and of sheep, two hundred and fifty thousand, and of asses, two thousand, and of men, a hundred thousand. For there fell down many slain, because the war was of Elohim, and they dwelt in their steads until the captivity. And the children of the half-tribe of Manasseh dwelt in the land. They increased from Bashan unto Baal, Hermon, and Shainir, and unto Mount Hermon. 
And these were the heads of the house of their fathers, even Efer, and Yishi, and Eliel, and Azriel, and Yermiyahu, and Hudavyah, and Yahid El, mighty men of valor, famous men, and heads of the house of their fathers. And they transgressed against the Elohim of their fathers, and went a whoring after the Elohim of the people of the land, whom Elohim destroyed before them. And the Elohim of Yashadael stirred up at the Ruach of Pul, king of Ashur, and at the Ruach of Tiglath, Pil Eser, king of Ashur, and he carried them away. Even the Reuvinim and the Gadim and the half tribe of Manasseh, and brought them unto Chelach and Chavor and Hara and to the river Gozan unto this day.